Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. You're welcome to this particular word. You're welcome to this perfect prophetic word. And I pray that it will really meet you at a very good point of your need in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that God bless you with divine understanding. And I pray that in this season you will see again in the spirit like never before and be able to tell certain things before they finally made manifest. So please like and subscribe to this channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you and I want you to be part of this particular section and i want you to be part of what god is doing here yes so please drop your prayer point in the comment section and as a returning subscriber like and share this video if you're new please don't forget to subscribe in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah amen yes there is someone yes there is someone who is coming there is somebody who is coming with the intention to get married to you because this person is no longer looking for somebody to call a girlfriend this person is no longer looking for somebody to say this is my lover, this person is looking for somebody to call to say, this is my partner whom God created to stand with me in my walk with God. And of recent, you've been praying for God to give you wisdom. You've been praying for God to give you wisdom because you keep feeling like whenever something good wants to happen to you, something else will just come in and try to disrupt it. You see, I always try to tell people that your problem have a weakness. If you understand the weakness of your problem, you will never be scared of it because you will hold it by the weakness and destroy it. Yes. As powerful as Samson may be, Samson had a weakness. As powerful as Goliath may be, Goliath had a weakness. Yes. Goliath had a weakness. And David understood the weakness of Goliath, that he was uncircumcised. And David was circumcised. So sometimes you will meet uncircumcised people threatening you as a covenant child because the circumcision of Israel was an instruction of covenant and was a pledge of covenant that was supposed to be redeemed of every child, of every male child that was born. And that is why it is the male children that give sacrifice. Yes. So I am here to let you know that sometimes you will be fought and even your husband will be fought and your sons will be fought. Yes, but don't allow the enemy stop what is coming your way because in perspective of how great your children are, God is still yet to bless you and these children because peace is coming. A man to fight for you and the children that God has given to you. A man to stand by you all, to stand with you, to fight with you is coming. It will be a great blessing. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.